everyone, welcome to Love Hope Kids. We're so pleased to be having you today. It's Easter. Today with me on set, I have Tamara. Hi everyone. And Zoe. Hello. Today we're going to be discussing about Easter. And I'm going to be asking Zoe and Tamara a few questions. I'd like to start with Zoe. Zoe, what do you like about the Easter season? So many kids like Easter because they have big dinners and then they go hunting for Easter eggs and they find many and they have chocolate, big feast with turkey. But what I personally like about Easter is more than that. What I like is that Easter reminds me about the love that God gave. Because God gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him would not perish but have eternal life. Now guys, let's talk about Jesus. Well, Jesus is not really Easter, right? Yeah. So, Zoe, who is Jesus? Well, Jesus is a man. He, can, he was sent by God through a woman named Mary. And he grew up doing the will of his father God. But there came a time that he had to suffer many things and be crucified. And he was crucified because when he was crucified, he washed away our sins. So tomorrow, who do you think Jesus is? Jesus is the Son of God. He's done lots of miracles. For an example, he rose the dead, he healed the sick, and also he preached the gospel to lots and lots of people. Jesus has disciples, but he chose 12 to be apostles. Well, you might be wondering what are disciples and apostles? What is the difference? Well, disciples are the people that listen to Jesus' instruction and believe his word. But the apostles are the people who are chosen to do his work. Zoe, yes, what kind of miracles did Jesus do? Jesus did many miracles. For example, his first miracle was in Galilee when he, when he turned water into wine. He also raised the dead like Tamar said. He um, um, healed the blind eyes, made the lame to walk, and many other miracles. So Tamar, what other miracles did Jesus do? Jesus fed 5,000 people with two fishes and five bread. He also healed the girl with blood issues and raised a little girl from the dead. Jesus also rebuked demons from people. He raised up Lazarus from the dead. He healed a lot of people. There's so much miracles that he did. I can't even name all of them. How amazing is that? Jesus doing miracles and changing people's lives. Zoe, why did some people not like Jesus? Well, some people did not like Jesus because they did not believe that he was the Son of God because they said, if he was the Son of God, why didn't he just come from heaven to earth? And they thought that the things he said were lies. And they did not like that he was healing the sick and eating with the sinners. So I'm going to be telling you the whole story of how this all happened. Well, it happened when Jesus, after the Last Supper, he went to a garden and he was praying. And then Judas and the army, they came and arrested Jesus. Peter um, did not want that to happen, so he took out his sword and then cut the ear of a servant. And then Jesus did not want to harm them because he knew that this was supposed to happen. So he took the ear and healed it. But they still um, arrested Jesus. They brought him to the high priest. And then the high priest asked him if um, asked Jesus, are you the son of God? And Jesus remained silent. So then after, they took him away. And then they took him to Pilate. And then Pilate asked, are you the son of God? He asked the same question. And Jesus still remained silent. And then after, Pilate came to the people, and then he had a prisoner, prisoner named Barabbas and Jesus. And then he asked the people, who do you want me to release? Jesus 
or Barabbas. And the people said Barabbas because they wanted to crucify Jesus. Even the people that Jesus healed, um, they wanted to crucify him after what they did, what he did for them. So Pilate released Barabbas and then they took Jesus and then they whooped him very badly. And what they used to whoop him, it was like this long thing which has been attached to these metal balls and in the middle were thorns like little spikes, and then they will glue it. And then they whooped him with that. Feel about the pain. And then they put a thorny crown upon his head. And they made him carry his cross, like Tamara said. He made him carry it a long way. And then Jesus was become, um, um, starting to become tired, and he fell three times. So they called someone to help Jesus carry his cross. And then after, when they have reached to the place, they nailed, um, they nailed him to the cross. And then upon, um, right before his head, they put Jesus of Nazareth. There was a sign that said, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. He prayed to God and said, Lord, forgive them for they know not what they do. And then Jesus said, it is finished. And at that time, in the synagogue, there was a curtain where it covers the place where only the high priests are allowed to go, the holy place where God is. And then right in the middle, it ripped. And at that same time, Jesus died. And the um, soldiers that were whipping him after he died, they realized that Jesus was the Son of God. Wow, Zoe, I can't believe that they did all of that to Jesus. Even the people that, that Jesus healed, they were saying that they should crucify him. When he asked for water, what did they give him? They gave him vinegar. Imagine what he did for us to wash away our sins. So now, let's discuss what happened after three days. Women came to the tomb with spices that they have prepared to anoint Jesus' body. And when they saw the tomb was, um, the stone that was blocking the tomb was rolled away, they checked in the tomb and Jesus' body was not there. And then two men with shining garments stood by and then they said, He is, why do you seek him? He is risen from the dead. And then they, um, they reminded of them of what Jesus said, that the Gentiles will seek them and then crucify him. And the third day he will rise again. And the woman remembered, and then they went and glorified God, telling everyone the good news. So to guys, today, what does Easter mean to us? Tomorrow, you, would you like to start? Easter means to me not only going to go get chocolates and getting Easter eggs, but it also, also means that Jesus sacrificed his life for me to wash away my sins because he loves us and he's actually a truly child of God. Zoe, what does Easter mean to you? Well, what Easter means to me is that Easter reminds me of the love of God because God gave his only son that whosoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. And that's a lot, a lot of love, a lot of very much love that God gave to us. It's a lot of love, just how much love he has for Jesus and how much love he has for us. It's the same amount of love, and it is a lot of love that He has for us. If you're watching this and you're not born again, say this prayer of salvation with me. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me, and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord of my life. Through him and his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. 
If you have said these words, congratulations, you're now a child of God. If you just said the prayer of salvation, congratulations, you're a child of God. Remember to please follow our super user account on Kingstat, and you'll be sure to never miss an episode. You can also follow our social media platforms on Facebook and YouTube. May the Lord bless you. If you have been blessed by our video, please send us an email. Happy Easter! We love you! Bye!